You know Terra Tom can't be stopped. He's going to figure it out, and I know you're going to figure this out too. Take a look at this. We can use the sample with replacement command, and this will allow duplicates. So now when we say, I want to get the student ID, the course ID, sample ID from the student course table, sample 5, 5, 5, they're going to give us 15 rows coming back because they know they can have some duplicate rows in there. People have said to me, this table only has 10 rows. I want to run some tests. I wish it had a thousand rows. And I go, I can make a table with a thousand rows really quick. I create a multi-set table and I have it as an empty table. Then I do an insert select into that table from the table with 10 rows using a sample with replacement 1,000. And that's a way to increase those rows to the number of rows you're looking for. As you can see in this query, I'm going to take four 10% samples. So I select the student ID, the course ID, the sample ID from the student course table. Sample 0.1 comma 0.1 comma 0.1 comma 0.1 comma. And as you can see, since I order by the sample ID, it's going to bring back one row in each sample. Now there's 14 rows in this table. And if I'm taking a 10% sample, that should be 1.4 rows, but we can't bring back 0.4 rows. It's going to only be able to bring back one row per sample ID. Here is the sample randomized allocation query. Take a look at this. As you can see at the bottom, it says sample randomized allocation 0.1 0.1, 0.1, 0.1. So we're taking four 10% samples. Now, the reason you might put this is because here's the way Teradata works with sample by default. You see, when you say, I've got 100 amps, and I would like a sample of 100 rows in a large table, it tries to get one row from each one of those amps. In other words, it tries to get a proportional sample from each amp to deliver to you in the answer set. But when you say randomized allocation, it's not going to do that. It's going to pull 10% from anywhere it finds. You can get really specific about what you want to see in your sample. Take a look at this. We're going to select the student ID, course ID, sample ID from the student course table, randomized allocation. But when course IDs greater than 200, we want two 10% samples. Else, if the course ID is 200 or less, we want two 20% samples. This should have brought back probably six rows, but we couldn't find enough rows with a course ID at 200 or less. But normally, if you've got the rows, this would have worked perfectly. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.